bringing to you the most important news. The things that you care about, the things that are fun, the travels and adventures, the stories and songs. From here and from there, from the furthest side of everywhere. If she knows how to listen, and she knows how to hop, your fearless reporter with the ears that flop, right here on Rabbit Ears News, the Weekly Carrot. We'll return after these messages. Why did you throw that? Are you some kind of earth hater? What type of meme person litters? It only takes five recycled plastic bottles to make enough fiber fill to stuff a ski jacket. Didn't you know you could recycle that? Over 11 million tons of recyclable clothing, shoes, and textiles make their way into the landfills each year. Landfills are among the biggest contributors to soil pollution. It takes 500 years for an average sized plastic bottle to decompose. There are 25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean. Plastics cause more than 80% of animal discomfort. A single recycled plastic bottle saves enough energy to run a 100 watt bulb for four hours. Glass bottles take 4,000 years to decompose. Recycling plastic saves twice as much energy as it takes to burn it. There is no limit to the number of times you can recycle an aluminum can. You young ladies are correct. I made a mistake, but I can fix it. I'll go recycle that bottle right now. Recycling. It isn't just for the pigeons anymore. For more information on recycling and helping the environment, please contact Sierra and Kate directly. What part of the show are we at, Beth? We get to answer some super cool questions that you guys send in to us, but I don't know where the question's gonna come from where today. Where could it be? Last week, Chimney had it. <gasps> I think hat. it's stuck in the hat. <laughs> I think it might be in your hat. Right, oh, very magical. That is magical. <laughs> that was so magical. Magic has things. You doing okay? Okay, what's today's question? It's from Kate. Hi, Kate. Kate. Uh, do bunnies wear sunglasses, and if so, are they bunny size, or do you suffer like having to wear human sized glasses and then like falling off your face all the time? What's the See, deal? That's a very good question, and something that a lot of people don't really take into account when realizing that you know bunnies have the same rights as people do. They don't really realize that sometimes bunnies have bad eyesight. So it goes the same for sunglasses and for and for regular glasses. I have to go to a very, very special website online and they actually size the glasses to my direct specifications. But right now I'm actually wearing contacts because even though that website is super great, it's still not perfect for all of my um, hosting show needs. So um, if you don't know what the website is, you have to just suffer through the really big sunglasses. But because I know everybody here in New York City, I know where to get them. So if you are a bunny, you have to go to bunnyglassesonline.com and they will help you out. All right. That's really good information to be able to share. Yes, yeah. it was wonderful. Thank you for asking that question, Kate. It was, it was very informative. <laughs> it really was, wow. Galaxy Weather, me, Sydney, and my trusty old pal Truffles are going to tell you all about the weather on Mars. That's right. We are going to skip Earth weather because all you have to do is look out the window and you'll find out what it's like. Well, on Mars, it is a bit colder than Earth. The average daily temperature is about negative 60 degrees Celsius. That's true. But the temperature varies from minus 125 Celsius at the planet's poles during the winter to about 20 degrees Celsius around the equator. 
That's like a nice day here on Earth. Hmm. The weather isn't that great, though. There's giant dust devils, which are like tornadoes, and those are frequently a menace on the planet. They're the largest dust storms in the solar system and has been known to cover the planet for months at a time. Did you know it also occasionally snows on Mars? But the snowflakes are composed of carbon dioxide instead of water. Hmm, that's cool. Get it? Because it's snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sydney. That's it for today's weather. See you all next time on the Galaxy Weather with Sydney and Truffles. Bye! Pun, pun and Dave. Pun, pun and Dave. Pun, pun and Dave. Pun, pun and Dave. Pun, pun's a goat and Dave's a kind of fish man. Like to hang out and have a lot of fun. very nice place today on our trip yes well uh pun pun my dear friend i needed to show you this because i heard about it and uh here we are in new salem north dakota and my friend this is the world's largest cow well it certainly looks like it's the world's largest cow what's her name well uh, her name is sue she was built in 1974 by the uh new salem lions club she is 38 feet high, 50 feet long, 6 tons of reinforced fiberglass. Wow, this cow is gigantic! Yes, uh, they are very proud of their cows here in New Salem. Did you know that uh, farmers have a special way of counting their cows? Oh yeah, they have the special way to count the cows, hey? What is this special way? Well, they use a calculator. Oh boy, Pan Pan, I love you. Welcome back, everybody. Today we got to listen to Galaxy Weather with Sydney and Truffles. Mm -hmm. Pun Pun and Dave. Yes, sir. So today we're going to end off with a really cool fact. Um, there is a super cool um, writer. His name is R.L. Stein. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrote these books called Goosebumps. And yeah. when I was just a little bunny, I love to read them because they are such good mystery stories mm -hmm. and they're a little bit spooky. So they're great to read at Halloween or whenever you're in the mood to be spooky. Yeah, the Goosebumps books are great. Exactly. They're great. But did you know that before R.L. Stein wrote the books Goosebumps, he wrote jokes? He wrote them for the inside of the Bazooka Joe gum wrappers. <laughs> Whoa! That's amazing! I didn't know that. Right? It's very, very cool. I never would have expected it. But it just goes to show how very good his range is. That's really mm. cool. Thanks for the info, Beth. Yes, and yeah. thank you everyone for tuning in today. Thanks. See you guys next See time. See you next time. Bye!